Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Devin Clegg piss that her and Jihoon are separated, plus Tyreek reveals the truth. Hey guys, let's talk about one of my favorite couple, and that would be Devin and Jihoon. I love this couple. But did you guys know that Devin was stuck here in the U.S., that they weren't allowing her re-entry back into Korea? They haven't imposed a travel ban on all travelers, including permanent visa holders. Now, she's stuck over here with her two children, and they're away from Jihoon. There's no telling when. And I'm not joking, guys, when she'll see Jihoon again. Because, you know, we hear all kind of rumors about this coronavirus. Some people are saying it might not... It might be another year or two. I mean, who knows when it's going to end? And Devin isn't taking this too lightly. For lack of a better word, she's pissed, people. She's pissed. She took to social media, and this is what she said. I just got a message from my embassy. Oh, you want to come back home? Well, no. F you is basically what it said. I feel so bad for resident holders who have lived in Korea for years who are stuck in this bad situation like me or Korean Americans who just want to see family, but are also getting the big F you from the government. I'm very disappointed in Korea right now. This is the first time I felt like this because I love that country, but this one felt personal. And I know many others who feel the exact same way. Let's blame the virus strictly on foreigners who made Korea their home when 99% of the cases in Korea are from Koreans themselves. Now, part of me feels really sad for Devin because who wants to be separated for their loved ones? Then there's another side of me who says, step in line, Devin. The coronavirus has affected all of us. Can you imagine having a job one day and then the next day you don't have one and you don't know how you're going to take care of your family? It has affected all of us. And at the end of the day, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Now let's move on to an even sadder story. That would be the Dean and Tariq story. Okay, this is sadder than Devin's because at the end of the day, these two are brothers and I really do think they have forgotten that. Now it all started a couple months ago when the rumors start circulating that these two had got fired because I believe it was Dean said something offensive to Tim Malcolm. And then rumors start surfacing that these two were no longer talking because of the firing. Then Dean came forward and debunked that explanation. He said that Tariq wasn't talking to him because he went to the Philippines to be with his new girlfriend. I believe you pronounce her name Regine. Then Tyreek debunked that statement yesterday by coming out with a different explanation altogether as to why they were fired. He said that they weren't fired at all, that Dean quit. Let's go over in detail what he said and let's talk about how crazy this is and how these two have fallen under the spell of Hollywood. So Tyreek's statement read, he quit out of the blue, his reasons. He said I was copying him and wouldn't let him finish his jokes delusional. He said I was cutting him off. Imagine that. He said either way, fire me or he quits. Who brought him into this? Me. Everyone including me were stunned and I asked to talk to him twice. He said no, twice. They couldn't believe he was being so childish. Blocked me and Hazel out of the blue. She was hurt the most. That's when I said it's the middle finger time. So if we were your favorites, just know I tried. His words were, I am not one, but the star. That's why I don't F with dude. I'm getting this out of the way now because I'm tired of hearing about it. You heard it from the horse's mouth now. Now, first of all, hmm, what, hmm, what? What in the hell is going on here, people? Somebody's lying here. Somebody's lying. And I have a feeling it's Dean. And let me tell you why I think it's Dean. Because he had a problem feeling himself before they were fired, quit. I still don't understand what really happened with the job. But another reason is that he went on self-quarantine without his damn brother. He wants camera time for himself and less for his brother. This is sad, this is sad, people, sad. He has fallen under what I call the Hollywood curse. Hollywood camera time will change so many people. I mean, they will make you forget that you're brothers. These two have fallen under that spell and it is sad, really sad. And it's no telling how long Dean will be under the spell that, I, that he's feeling himself and I need all the camera time I can get. Oh, it's just, it's, a classic Hollywood story. It's too bad that these two don't w understand what's going on with them right now. It's just a damn shame. I mean, what is mom going to say about all this? 
So we have lots to talk about today, guys, in the comments section. Number one, should we feel sorry for Devin? She is severely being affected by the coronavirus, but so is the rest of us. So should we feel sorry for her? And number two, who agrees with me? It's most likely that Dean is the one with the big head and caused the divide between the brothers. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.